In this video, I'm going to work out an individual integral problem, um, kind of showing you a little um, trick that you can do when you've got an, out, an odd power of sine, like this is a sine to the third. Okay, so um, this trick works really nicely if, as long as you've got an odd power, all right, because we're going to take advantage of our Pythagorean identities, all right, because any time that I've got something like sine to the third power, then I can hopefully break it up so that I end up with a sine squared x. That's going to allow me to then do a nice little substitution using that Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so um, this would be the integral of sine x the third power dx. Okay, I'm going to choose to break this up into the integral of sine squared x times sine x and then dx. Okay, so there's my sine squared x. All right, from this Pythagorean identity, solving for that sine squared x, I know that that's equivalent to 1 minus cosine squared x. So I'm going to do that substitution. So I'm going to change the sine squared x there to a 1 minus cosine squared x times sine x. Okay, then at this point, I'm going to look at this and I'm going to do a u substitution. Okay, so for my u substitution, I'm going to let my u equal cosine x. And then when I take the derivative of both sides, I get a du and then a minus sine x dx. Solving for that dx, then I would have a du over a negative sine x equaling my dx. Okay, so there's my u substitution. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to substitute here and change this integral out. So I'm going to have the integral of... My u was cosine, so I'll have a 1 minus u squared, because that was cosine squared right there, times the sine x. I'm going to replace my dx with the du over the minus sine x. All right, now what that's going to do, that's going to allow those sine x's to cross out. All right, and then I will be able to pull the negative out in front and then do a relatively easy integration at that point. Pull the negative out. I would have the integral of 1 minus u squared du. Both of those are going to integrate really easily here. So I'll have the negative out in front. Let's put a set of parentheses in there since I have two things inside here. When I integrate 1, I'm going to get a u. When I integrate the u squared, I'm going to get a 1 third u to the third. All right, and then you can't forget that you are going to need to then distribute that negative that we pulled out there. So we'll have a negative u plus a one-third u to the third. And then at this point, we can replace back what we said our u was. So we'll have a negative cosine x plus a one-third cosine to the third x and then plus C for our final answer there. Okay, but just a nice useful little trick. If you've got an odd power of sine and you can rewrite it so that you can get a sine squared x in there, then it's going to allow for a nice little substitution that's probably going to help on that integral problem. So definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.